So if you are going for a frozen embryo transfer, so the patient gets very much confused because we start the patients on medications like estrogen. So the thing comes to their mind why this estrogen is given, how many days it is good, so is, it, is it going to have any side effect on the body. So estrogen is a normal hormone that is secreted in the first half of the cycle. Because in the first half of the cycle only estrogen is secreted. In the second half we secrete both estrogen and progesterone. So we just suffice it, we supplement it with the estrogen. So because the normal lining is being going to be made, but we want to have an artificial thing because we are going to do embryo transfer according to our needs. We need a definite lining, definite measurement. So we give you estrogen. So estrogen is usually whichever is started in a patient in a frozen embryo transfer or a fresh embryo transfer, it is regressed accordingly and then subsequently it is stopped at 12 weeks of pregnancy. At 12 weeks of pregnancy basically all your estrogen stops. So basically when you get pregnant, when you have the cardiac activity and all, we start decreasing the dose of estrogen so that we can stop it. If everything is fine, many times your doctor will decide to stop it at 7 weeks also, 8 weeks also. But definitely if you are having symptoms like bleeding per vaginum, you have had a history of abortion or any high risk thing, then obviously we try to take it to 12 weeks. After 12 weeks estrogen is never given. We care about you.